Hello guys, welcome to episode 11 of Dolphins Daily and to jump right into it, the Dolphins will be taking on the Houston Texans on a Thursday night matchup game. The Dolphins are on a losing streak and have lost their last four games. They look to change that here against the Texans. Moving on to the keys to the game for the Miami Dolphins. The first key is that they will need to pressure the Sean Watson. We've seen Sean Watson last year just took the, take the NFL by storm and the Dolphins will need to contain him here. The Dolphins will need to send a whole bunch of blitzes and the cornerbacks need to do their part in covering and locking up these receivers. The next thing the Miami Dolphins must do is contain or slow down to David County or JJ Watt. Their D-line is just going to be barreling through the Dolphins trying to come through and create pressure but the Dolphins must show some resistance. And lastly, the Dolphins must commit little to no mistakes on the offensive side and defensive side. First up onto the field for the Houston Texans is Deshaun Watson and this offense. 1,800 passing yards, 13 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. Deshaun Watson, the electrifying play, has given the Houston Texans a nice record and they currently sit in the top half of the NFL. Shotgun formation, second and, second and 16, and that pass is completed, giving them a third and three. Eye formation, handoff to Lamar Miller, the former Miami Dolphin, and he is, he is tackled before the first down marker giving the Dolphins the ball back. Tannehill now on to the field. 1,700 yards and 8 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. Tannehill got to have a good game here if the Dolphins want to win. Strong formation. 12.50 to play. Handoff to Kenyon Drake to the left. But he is stopped behind the line. Well, just at the line, making it 2nd and 9. Drag route to Mike Gesicki. And that one is completed for a first down and more. Putting the Dolphins at the 39-yard line. Introducing the Houston Texans defense. J.J. Watt, Jadavion Clowney will look to create pressure. Their linebackers are pretty solid too and will look to cause any turnovers that they possibly can. Third and eight now, back onto the game. 41 yard line, that pass is completed over the middle into Houston Texans territory, putting them at the 34 yard line. The Dolphins will later attempt a field goal here from the 34 yard line. That kick is up, it has the power, but it is off to the right. The game remains 0-0, Texans ball. Single back formation, play accent. Watson rolls out to his right, but goes down from a stack from Robert Quinn. He escaped the initial sack from Cameron Wake, who is making his return off a torn shoulder. Now, Texans offense. DeAndre Hopkins and Lamar Miller will be the big playmakers for this team. Texans not being able to do anything with the ball gives the ball back to the Dolphins. Tannehill rolls out to his left looking for a first down. Dives and he will get it as soon as he tackles he gets the first down. Shotgun formation. Handoff to Kalen Balazs. Breaks the tackle looking for a first down here. Possibly defender but it's just stopped short making it second and two. Second and 10 from the 12 yard line. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter and that pass is completed on the end route giving the Texans another first down. Shotgun formation, 25 yard line. Pressure incoming and that pass is completed to Lamar Miller. They're gonna burn the fans. 40, 30 to the 20 and he will get in for a touchdown giving the Texans a 7-0 lead. A blown coverage by Raekwon McMillan who disregarded the play and just went on his own blitz. Third and three, Dolphins ball at the 29 yard line. That pass is completed to Devontae Parker, but it's swung down at the 32 yard line. Less than 30 seconds in the first quarter. Toss out to Kenyon Drake to the left, but he is stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Third and 12, shotgun for Mason. Tannehill takes the snap and looking to go deep to Mike Kostiki, but that one is broke up and nearly picked off. Giving the ball back to the Houston Texans. Handoff to the left for Freeman, picks up five yards there, putting them at the 36 yard line. Second and five, shotgun formation, play clock winding down and that pass is completed to DeAndre Hopkins, making his way close to the 50 yard line. Strong formation, and that pressure comes through and Lamar Miller goes down in the backfield. Cameron Wake, first, one of many first tackles in this game as he comes off an injury. Handoff to Kane Drake right up the middle and he picks up about seven yards on that play. Putting the Dolphins at the 13 yard line. Second and three from the 13 yard line. Strong for Mason. Hand off to the left. Kane Drake picks up a first down and more. Looking to beat the defender here. And makes a nice juke move all the way down at the 46 yard line. Third and 12 for the Dolphins now. Tannehill dropped back. Looking for a receiver and finds that receiver. Mike Kosicki for another first down. Putting them at the 41 yard line. Shotgun formation again. Receivers out wide. Tannehill finds Albert Wilson on the zig route. Putting them at the 39 yard line. Third and eight. Houston still up by seven points. Tannehill connects with Devontae Parker over the middle. Putting them at, putting them at the 26 yard line. But the Dolphins will ultimately be backed up. 
30 yard line. Devontae Parker looking for a first down coming off a drag route. He tries to dive and the referees say he will be just an inch short and the Dolphins will come on into attempt a field goal making the game 3 to 7. 518 left in the first half. I formation now. Deshaun Watson under the center. Play action. Pressure come through and he goes down from a sack from William Hayes. His first sack in the day and his first tackle. Second and 17. Man in motion. Play clock winding down from the 17 yard line. Hand off to Lamar Miller. Looking for room. Looking to pick up a first down. But he is shoved out of bounds out at the 31 yard line. Third and three. Single back formation. And that pass is completed to Anderson. Putting them at the 37 yard line. Empty backfield for Deshaun Watson now. Pressure incoming. And he gets that one off to Will Fuller at the 40 to the 30 to the 20. And he's going to burn everyone. Going to burn Tony LePet on it for another touchdown. And will make the game 14 3. Texans are up. Texans with the ball back again. Single back formation. Three receivers set at the 29 yard line. Two minute warning in the second quarter. And that pass is completed to Will Fuller. Again, a similar play call that they called last time where they scored in a touchdown. Now, blitz incoming. Cameron Wake create impressive. Deshaun Watson escapes in and he picks up a first down, but is hit hard by Minka Fitzpatrick, the rookie out of Alabama, and the Texans will just settle for a field goal, extending their lead 3 to 17. That will conclude the first half of this game. The Dolphins have not performed too well. The offense needs to get going and the defense needs to start start forcing stops. The Dolphins only have 46 rushing yards and would like to gain more in this second half. Beginning of the second half, third and nine, that pass is complete to Albert Wilson who has been all over the field all day. Full pistol formation, handoff to Kane Drake right up the middle and he picks up about four or five yards there. Ball back to the Houston Texans at the 11 yard line, handoff to Lamar Miller, picks up a first down, makes a spin move, broken tackle from Rashad Jones, his way all the way down to the 28 yard line. Dolphins ball back again looking to go deep to Devontae Parker and that one is caught all the way down to the Houston Texans 28 yard line. Second and nine empty backfield for Ryan Tannehill and he finds Devontae Parker over the middle but that one will be broken up. Texans don't want none of that no more. They break that one up. Fourth and one for the Miami Dolphins and they will attempt yet another field goal. The Dolphins have to start converting field goals into touchdowns here. You can't keep on kick on kicking field goals, excuse me. Third and 12, that pass is complete to Griffin for a first down, juking out a defender. That is Tony LePet who juked out, and he is all the way down to the 30 yard line. Second and 15, Deshaun Watson looking to go deep, and that one is caught by Bruce Ellington to the 20 to the 10. Vernon Dolphins defender, another blown coverage on that play. The Dolphins have to remain disciplined in their assignments. Now Dolphins with the ball back, Tannehill rolls out to his left looking for a receiver and finds A.J. Derby I believe making a nice possession catch there. First and 10, handoff to Kalen Ballard looking to head right, plows through the defender making his way all the way down to the 37 yard line, pick up for about 9 there. Single back for Mason, Tannehill looking for a receiver, Devontae Parker but that one is broken up. 419 remaining in the third quarter. Single back formation again. Blitz incoming, but it is picked up. Tannehill finds AJ Derby over the middle down at the Houston Texans seven yard line. Single back formation, strong set. Hand off to Kane Drake, but that one goes nowhere. Third and goal, nine yard line. Tannehill steps up in the pocket, and that one is picked off by Cole. And that gives the Texans the ball back, and Dolphins no points up on the board. Hand off to Lamar Miller now, breaks a tackle in the back of the end zone, and he is tackled by Mika Fitzpatrick, and the Dolphins get two points, making the game 8-24, to less than two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hand off to Kalen Balazs again up the middle, and he gets his way to about nine yards down at the 41-yard line. Second and 10 now, 41-yard line, less than 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter, and that is a sack from Jadavion Clowney, and that will end the third quarter. Dolphins down. 24 to 8. Houston Texans have the lead. Dolphins looking to gain a bit of momentum here. Fourth down and three. They have to go for it. Albert Wilson wide over over the middle. A little curl route. And he gets his way all the way to the 31 yard line. Dolphins. Eye formation here. Hand off to Kenya Drake. Buses out to the left. But goes nowhere. Met in the backfield. Fourth and 11. Dolphins must convert here again. Pressure from the right coming in good. But Tannehill stays in the pocket and delivers a beautiful strike to Albert Wilson for a first down. 12 yard line. Pressure holding up. Pressure incoming actually. And Tannehill looking for a receiver and that one is picked off again. 
and the Dolphins again walk away with no points. The Dolphins get the ball back now. Strong formation, play action, Tannehill looking to go deep. That is Kenny Stills and he overthrows his man and a flag is down. One of the first and few penalties we've seen all day and that pass, that flag will be on the Houston Texans roughing the passer and the Dolphins will of course accept it. But now they are in the third and, third, third and 19 situation. The pressure in comes from Jadavion Clowney. Tannehill, for some reason, escapes the sack, and he just lets the ball loose from the rest of the really incomplete. First and 10. Watson looking to go deep, and he finds his man Will Fuller again at the one-yard line, and the Texans are looking to score. Hand off to Lamar Miller here for an easy touchdown. He could have taken that one for about 50 yards. The blocking was so good on that play. First and 10. Hand off to Kevin Balazs, and he picks up about six to seven yards there. Dolphins took Ryan Tannehill out of the game and put in David Phil. They just wanted to they just wanted to see what he could do. Now second and three, 42 yard line. David Phil's in the pocket, delivers a pass, but that one is broken up deep and tethered for Albert Wilson all day, who has been very impressive for the Dolphins and in, in place for Danny Amendola. David Phil's looking to go deep. That is Kenny Stills to the back of the end zone, and that one is caught. Dolphins first touchdown of the day. And they finally catch a break, but that will be a little too late as the Dolphins will lose their fifth straight game in a row. The Dolphins need to turn something around here. I mean, these guys, they have to get off the losing skid. The team just needs to come together. The coaching staff at the end of the game wanted to see what David Phelps could do. The protection looked nice when he was in the game, but the Dolphins aren't quite too sure if they would want to go with Tannehill or David Phelps. I mean, with the O-line being as bad as it is, the Dolphins will most likely stick with Ryan Tannehill just because he has that ability to run. But we will see in the next game what the Dolphins will do. The Dolphins will take on the Jets next week. That should be an easier match for them, and they should walk away with the victory. That will conclude episode 11, and we will see you guys next week for next episode against the Jets.